I was contacted by uh, a couple of very famous archaeologists and ancient historians in Oxford, uh, and they had heard through the grapevine somehow what our group was doing with, for instance, lead measurements in ice cores. And they asked me if we could develop a much more detailed record of lead in ice from the Roman period, so 2,000 years ago. And I thought, I, I had no idea that, because there had been a few measurements uh, that I knew about uh, from the early, the, let's say mid-90s, of lead in ice from 2,000 years ago. And I had no idea that ancient historians and archaeologists were arguing with each other in, the publica in publications about what the implications of these, you know, 10 points or whatever, 10 measurements during this period meant. And when I say what they meant, I'm talking about things, big, really big philosophical questions. Was the Roman economy stronger under the Roman Republic, a, you know, a, a democratic, democratic type of environment or type of government, or was it stronger under the empire? And I had no idea that they were putting so much weight on these 10 or 12 ice core measurements. So because of that, that got us going down this path. And because of that, uh, we were able to get an ice core from the Danes, analyze it at very high resolution. Um, you know, so instead of a, a 10 points over the, over, let's say a thousand years, we had, uh, let's say, I don't know, a couple million points over that same time period. So our resolution was completely different and we had more other tracers so we could uh, correct the age scales and everything else. And that really launched us down this path of human impacts on the environment, trying to use ice core records to actually say, I mean, imagine being able to say to historians, the Roman, and this was, these were changes in the Roman economy year by year, 2000 years ago. And if we link that to other things that were going on, we can say, for instance, what was the impact on the economy of a plague that hit Rome in 165? Uh, and it turns out it was huge. It had a factor of four drop in the pollution uh, during that time. 